Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. And on this edition of Car Wars, we are looking at the Brazilian Stock Car Championship of 2022 coming to us from, of course, Brazil. We start with a nice synchronized spin, very, very graceful from these two drivers. Now, what makes Brazilian stock cars so interesting is that the racing tends to be quite tight. A lot of cars, all pretty much close together. That tends to lead to a lot of accidents and a lot of contact, damaged cars and bits of bodywork flying off all over the place. As well as cars flying off all over the place, as we see with this Toyota. Now that's one way to drive around a circuit, completely blind. This is Galid Osman, we'll be seeing him a few times, and now he's spinning on his own. But he'll be doing it with friends later. This is the son of Rubens Barrichello, Dudu Barrichello, losing it and tagging another driver. You can see the damage it causes. We we'll see it from this angle inside. Bit too ambitious going down the inside. Hits the curb, spins it round, and the other car just can't avoid him. Now you can see from the start, they tend to be pretty crazy. There's a lot of cars trying to get through one place at one time. Usually there's casualties. And sometimes there are multiple casualties. And I'm not even sure what's going on here, it's just dust. See it from this angle. That's one way to get a sponsor. And here's Galid Osman again. This time tangling with Rodrigo Baptista. You just see cars all over the place as we're on board with former Formula One driver Felipe Massa. There goes that car. And here's Galid Osman spinning round. A lot of smoke. He tries to keep it going. And here's another driver getting it very, very wrong. And he's going no further with that wheel pointing in that direction. This is the next race. And once again, not everyone makes it through. There's already cars off to the side of the track. Here's another one. Similar to the one we saw earlier. Now I'm not quite sure how this happened to Beto Montero. A little bump on the grass. Did a lot of damage to the car. I'm not even sure where he was going. Nor am I sure with these drivers, although that is Rubens Barrichello, but what confuses me here is there's just so many cars going in different directions. Now with a bit of rain, we'll see how much chaos that causes. There's a few cars pretending to be lawnmowers. The rest carry on, but not all of them get much further. And that's another bonnet up. And here we have Raphael Suzuki. He's decided to go in a different direction to everybody else. It turns out it's not the right direction. Actually moves the barrier. And some more synchronized spinning. And someone else running out of space. And two more synchronized spinners. One of them is Renan Guerra. Now this one's a tricky one. There's a car spinning in the background already, but don't pay attention to him. Watch the two cars on the right. And the one coming off worse is Alam Kader, who gets into the back of someone else and completely totals the back of his car. Shopping is going to be difficult in that boot. 
because I don't think you're going to be able to open it. And again, Raphael Suzuki somehow getting involved in all that has a bit of bodywork wedged in his back wheel arch, causing a lot of smoke. And that tire is not going to last long. Now we have another former Formula One driver. This is Ricardo Zonta getting pushed round by just about everyone else in the field. And here's Felipe Massa again. Squeezing Sergio Jimenez against the wall. I can't imagine Sergio is too happy with that one. It was a bit rude. Shreds the right side of his car. And this is too many cars in one place and yet only one spinner. Any car could crash at any moment. And there's one going across the field. Now this is a first class parking job going straight into the barriers. It does look very, very neat, especially from this angle. It can't park much straighter than that. Good job, Dennis Navarro. And I said this name would keep coming up. That is Galid Osman. And again, I think he spun all on his own. Well, maybe he had a little bit of help. And here's Baptista. Doing the exact same thing as Galid Osman. And sometimes it's just fun to watch the racing get so close. Although this might have been too close. And that car was already damaged, so it's had a few goes at mixing it up with other drivers. And that's a close one from Gomez. And a lot of bumping and barging around him. It's amazing how much damage is done to the bodywork, even with the lightest of contact. Here's another spinner, Julio Campos. Managing to keep it going in the right direction. And here's Alain Kader again. But what's special about this one is it's on the formation lap. It was very wet, you can't completely blame him. And here's Felipe Massa again. Cuts across grass and the mud just makes the car explode. And its steering is now compromised. And here's the 2021 champion Gabriel Casagrande. And here's Felipe Baptista. He's going backwards into the mud. And he's going to struggle to get that one out. Not long after, his teammate had a similar experience. That's Guillermo Salas. Now this is the big one. Lucas Foresti turning it into the wall, but somehow still crossing the finishing line with sparks flying out from all the damage and another bonnet popped up. And here's two more, it's Tony Kanaan is one of them, squeezing another competitor against the wall. And here's Tuca Antoniazzi sliding into view. Now this was a very embarrassing one for Ricardo Zonta. A driver that experienced should not be spinning on the pit exit. And for some reason there's a pond next to the racetrack. Now if you're a championship contender, this is not what you want to be doing. That's Daniel Serra spinning round. But he's joined by another major contender in Rubens Barrichello. As you can see from this angle, Sarah was punted out. And everyone else just seemed to spin in sympathy. Uh, 
And this is Attila Abru. Left in the dirt. And here's Campos again. That was not his fault. This is Gianluca Petkov going for a very ambitious move round the outside. And technically he did get past his competitor. And he was lucky not to do what Felipe Massa did. And here's Petkov again getting his just reward. Sergio Jimenez with a very ambitious move up the inside himself. Turns Petkov round. As I said before, sometimes you're just waiting for something to happen, and then it happens. Quite a big one. You see on board with Gatano de Moro. Quite a high speed to be turned round, and cars just coming at you from every direction. Not quite sure what happened to this driver. He just got squeezed and then ended up on the wrong side of the track. With so many cars, it's hard to get going again. And here we have Felipe Baptista spinning all on his own and almost collecting everyone else when he tries to get back in the race. Now this was a good move from Cesar Ramos. He got taken out by another competitor and he almost gets him back, but not quite. I'm sure he'll have another go later. And again, just lots and lots of cars. They're never gonna make it through. Someone's going to get into trouble. Oh, maybe they did all make it. Well, almost. All of them. Still cars going in every direction on the track. And there's your contact. That's Bruno Baptista spinning it round. And somehow ending up in the gravel. And here's Rubens Barrichello again. Making contact. But he does get past his competitor almost. Although they have lost four places in the space of two corners and here's Felipe Baptista spinning on his own again it's a shame because he was doing quite well in this race and this is Felipe Massa and Galid Osman in the pits the pit lane is very very tight and as I said there's a lot of cars in Brazilian stock car and one thing they do need to improve is the pit lane because there have been at least three incidents in the pit lane this year and they have led to injuries. And maybe the starts need to be improved because there's usually carnage at the start. When you have nearly 40 cars going around at once, it tends to be a bit of bumping and boring and a few cars going in different directions and a few bits of car left behind. And it tends to go on for several corners. Just see the damage. And here's Diego Nunez spinning round. And again, his car was already very damaged and he almost took out a few other people coming back on. And as I said about the pit lane, this was the worst incident of the year. Several mechanics were injured, all because the pit lane is too tight with too many cars coming down it at once, all seemingly coming together. And a lot of very angry mechanics trying to get the cars moved. Although the different teams do seem to be working together. You see from this angle, one car pulls out in front of the other, they just avoid another one and then it's just carnage, and it's lucky there wasn't a tragedy attached to this. See, the Toyota pulls out in front of the other two. They both break, 
hit each other, then hit a third car, and unfortunately a couple of mechanics were involved as well. Back on the racetrack, and it's Diego Azar who's being left behind. A very high speed crash here, and several cars going off in backwards and the wrong direction, and a lot of dust kicked up. And here's number 12 spinning. And carrying on. And that's the 54. That would be his teammate, and it looks like he's not carrying on. This is Renato Braga. It looks like he's done that by himself. And here it all just goes wrong and there are cars everywhere. Hey look, it's number 12 again. I think that's Tiago Campos. Not sure what happened here, there's just cars everywhere. Several spinning at once. More on the grass, lots of dust, a big mess. Now, I think that's a different incident, but honestly at this point it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's two different drivers colliding with each other. Here's Sergio Jimenez. He's being spun around by someone different this time. It's Gianluca Petakoff. This is Thiago Vivacu. I don't know if you got distracted by the plastic bag, but a massive lockup, and he ends up miles off the track. Maybe his brakes broke. And this was the final race with the title contenders all near the front of the field. Daniel Serra and Rubens Barrichello are both there. The first one to fall out is Rubens Barrichello, who jumps over the curb and spins himself around in front of the whole field and gets collected. And then Daniel Serra gets tagged by Casa Grande. So that's all three of your major title contenders having trouble at the start and several other drivers joining them. Casa Grande did continue, but he was later disqualified. And that meant, even though he was the one who pretty much started the incident, Rubens Barrichello is the 2022 Brazilian stock car champion. But if you see it from this angle, he almost lost out at this point because several cars all climb into him. I believe that's Renato Suzuki. Rubens did continue for a bit, but his car was hobbled. As you see from Daniel Serra, he just got tagged by Casa Grande coming back onto the track. He then got tagged by someone else, and that caused a bottleneck behind him. Several other cars involved, and two more into the barriers. But we finish with Dennis Navarro doing what Dennis Navarro does best. Yep, yeah, that. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe for more motorsport content, and we'll be back with more soon. So, have a good one.